I don't know why her attorney continues to make an issue. The more he speaks, seemingly on her behalf, the more he's sinking her into a hole. I, I believe it's time for her, her attorney to, to shut the hell up and uh, allow the process to, to occur. Um, let me say that um, in my letter to the attorney yesterday, I simply outlined the law to him and pointed out to him as well that the evidence is, is not there against Mr. Espat. But the contrary, where there is a lot of evidence against her committing an assault upon the Honorable Julius Espat. Fortunately for her, uh, Mr. Espat informed me this morning that he do not wish to proceed with court action against her at this time. And so based on that, she will not be charged criminally as outlined in the letter to her attorney yesterday. I think what Mr. Espat is hoping for is for her and her attorney to apologize and retract their story. And based on that, then he will determine if he'll proceed with the matter before the court. Certainly, her, at her prior post that she had, she was the officer who was assigned to work at cabinet meetings. I don't think she expect that she would still be working cabinet meetings um, after all that had occurred. So if it is that the commander of Belmapan police station made some adjustments to be able to accommodate having someone else working at cabinet meeting as opposed to her, then I, I have a certain no objection for that. Certainly there was some conversation. I didn't see nothing there about cursing out, but like I said before, if you step into a boxing ring with Mike Tyson, you expect to get knocked the hell out. And uh, you, you cannot expect that you'll be pet and powder or lotion there. She stepped into the political arena and she had an exchange of words with the minister. She put herself in that position. Um, in terms of the minister using curse words to her, there is no such thing in the statements that we recorded.